XDA Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. Booyah! And today on XDA, we are going to talk about the kernel. You may have asked yourself, what exactly is a kernel? You may have seen a kernel on the forum somewhere, or you may just have no idea what it is. Well, if you fall into that category, or you like hearing my smooth voice, go ahead and stick around and we're gonna learn what exactly, or who, the kernel is. <laughs> All right, guys, as I said in the intro, we are talking about the kernel. Let's go over some basics here so we understand what a kernel is. So the kernel is basically just a middleman. It sits between the applications and the hardware, and it translates what the application is telling the hardware to do, basically. Without a kernel, you couldn't push a button on your phone to turn the screen off. You couldn't change the brightness settings, or you couldn't adjust the volume at all. The kernel also allows you to communicate to input output devices like mice and keyboard. So if you plug a mouse into your Android phone, if you didn't have the proper kernel for it, the mouse wouldn't work at all. It would have no idea how to translate the command straight to Android. So you may ask yourself or me, how could this help me? What does this have to do with me? My phone works just fine. And if your phone works just fine, that is great. But you have to understand that when phones are shipped from the manufacturer, they're underclocked to increase battery life. Now, if you're like me, and others, you wanna get the most performance out of your phone. So that's when custom kernels come into play. These custom kernels allow you to overclock your phone while it's turned on and being used and underclock your phone when it's turned off. So that means you get better performance and better battery life when it's idle. Another cool feature of Franco kernel actually allows you to modify the colors of the screen as well because the Nexus 4 natively has a pretty washed out screen. This allows you to get much deeper and rich colors. Also, one more cool thing about the Franco kernel, it has a sound hack that allows you to increase the volume on the earpiece and the speakerphone. Although the Nexus 7 second generation is pretty new to the game right now, there already has been a few releases. The kernel that I'm currently using is Elemental X. This supports overclocking the CPU and GPU. GPU is graphics processing unit. So when doing things like playing games or watching a high resolution movie, it should go just as smooth as ever. Although some may say it's a placebo effect, the benchmarks don't lie. When you benchmark with a new kernel, your speeds increase dramatically. Did I convince you in downloading a custom kernel? Well, I really hope so, because it can really get the most out of your phone and get the most bang for your buck. But I failed to mention that you have to be rooted. That's an obvious step, but you need to be rooted before you can make the changes to your phone on this type of level. So if you're not rooted, go ahead and head to the XDA developers forum, go to your proper phone, and then read all the stickies. They will answer your questions from there and probably have a one-click root. Now, once you have your kernel installed, you are good to go and you are benefiting greatly from all the things a kernel has. Now, it's using just the default settings. If you really want to unleash the potential of that kernel, you need to install additional software to really make these changes. Now, I can't really say which software is the best one, but the one I use is Trickster Mod. I think with Trickster Mod, it has a great interface. It's 100% free, and it's just really easy to change the settings. Now, some kernels have their own software that they recommend using with the kernel. I highly recommend you stick with their software that they want you to use. Other than that, feel free to explore because there's tons of software out there for your disposal. The next thing I can tell you is to always, always, always have a backup. Because when making changes to kernel, you could get yourself into trouble. You can do things where you overclock your phone too much where it heats up and keeps rebooting over and over again, or other type of issues you may have where the phone may not boot. So make sure you have yourself a backup before making any changes to any kernel ever. Always have a backup. All right, folks, that is it. Hopefully, if you didn't know anything about the kernel, now you do know a little bit about the kernel. You know how to update your kernel. You know what exactly to look for. And you can actually get the most performance out of your phone. As I said before, you can use the kernel to overclock or underclock your device to achieve the results you're looking for, whether it's performance, whether it's battery life, or a balance of the two. All right, guys, that is it. My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at The Tech Ninja Speaks. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to XDA's channel. And also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My name is The Tech Ninja. YouTube comes right up. That is it, guys. Take care.